Well, hello. It's so nice to see you. My name is Grandpa Mouse. If you'd like me to read the story to you, click the story button. If you'd like to play inside the story, click the play button. To go right to a certain page, click the pages button. That cloud looks just like a sheep. Can you see it? Bah, bah. <laughs> You're right. Oh, and doesn't that one look like a pig? Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to hear a story, children? Yes, Grandpa. This is a tale from Africa. It's about a young boy named Emo. <coughs> Emo and the King Once there was a boy named Emo who lived in the trunk of a baobab tree. One day, Emo was cooking breakfast when his friend Gali ran in. He told Emo some exciting news. Gali, why are you in such a hurry? Come quickly, Emo. A man has come to the village with a message from the king. A message from the king? It must be important. Are you coming? Let's go, Kumi. Everyone in the village had come to hear the message from the king. Listen, good villagers, hear what I say. The king needs your help and he needs it today. He searches for someone to rule when he's gone. If you cannot help me, then I must go on. A king has three tests to help make his choice. Who will come with me? Come on, raise your voice. I will come with you. <laughs> 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 it, it is a generous offer, young one. But you are just a boy. Is there no one else who wants to become prince? I could become prince, but my fields need plowing. Perhaps I could rule the land, but I'm happy living here. I will go to the palace and speak to the king. <laughs> <laughs> The king's tests aren't for boys like us. I've made up my mind, Gali. I'm leaving for the palace today. But, Emo, do you really think you can pass the king's tests and become prince? I will try my best. Goodbye, Gali. Wish me luck. And so Emo gathered his belongings and began his journey. Emo soon came to a tree where a beautiful bird was roosting. The bird was hungry, so Emo gave it seeds. Good day, Emo. Oh. Good day, Weaver Bird. What is the matter? I am unhappy because my belly is empty. Take these seeds, my friend, and eat until your belly is full. Excellent seeds. They really hit the spot. In return for his kindness, the bird taught Emo a song. Sing this song when you need my help, and I will come. Weave a bird gliding through the air. Won't you come to me? Thank you, Weaver Bird, for teaching me your song. Good luck on your journey, Emo. Emo came to a swift stream. An army of ants waited there, unable to cross. Emo laid down his walking stick for the ants to use as a bridge. What's wrong, little ants? We need to cross the water, Emo, but the stream is too deep and fast. I'll help you. Now you can cross the stream safely. In return for his help, the ants taught Emo a song.
Thank you, Emo. Sing the song if you need us, and we will come. Brave white ants marching in the sand, won't you come to me? Goodbye, ants. I'll remember your song. As the sun began to set, Emo grew tired of walking. He stopped to rest and play his drum. I'm tired, Kumi. Let's rest for a few minutes. I'll play my drum for you. to be a quiet neighborhood. Come on, Kumi. We still have a long way to go. As night fell, Emo saw an elder outside a cave. He told Emo he couldn't see. So Emo gave him his lantern. Good evening, elder. Why are you sitting out here in the dark? My fire has gone out, Emo, and it's too dark to enter my cave. Take my lantern then, Elder. The moon is bright tonight, and it will light my way. The Elder changed into a genie and taught Emo his song. You're a genie! Yes, Emo. And for your kindness, I will aid you when you are in need. Remember this song. Mighty genie deep inside your cave, won't you come to me? Golly will never believe this. Goodbye, genie, and thank you for teaching me your song. Goodbye, Emo. May good luck follow you wherever you go. Emo reached the palace and told the guard he wanted to see the king. The guard laughed at first, but finally let Emo into the palace. I'm here to see King Azizi. <laughs> you little boy! What business could you have with the king? Go home and play with your friends. Shoo, 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 shoo. I've traveled a long way, and I'm very tired. Please let me pass. What harm could it do? Hmm. Very well. I'll let you in. But don't cause any mischief, or I'll throw you out myself. Did you hear that, Kumi? We're going to see the king. <laughs> A visitor to see the king. You may pass, little visitor. Thank you. Come on, Kumi. Emo went before King Azizi and told why he had come. The king laughed, but agreed to let Emo try his three tests. Oh, great King Azizi. I am Emo. And I want to become your prince. <gasps> <laughs> you are very brave for such a small boy. I will let you try my three tests. But all who have tried before you have failed. I will try my very best to pass the tests. Hmm. He seems like a very nice boy. <laughs> Emo is a very brave boy. <laughs> and he's cute. Let us begin the first test, Emo. Come. 
King Azizi took Emo to a pile of seeds and told him to change the seeds to stones. To pass the first test, Emo, you must change these seeds into stones. Seeds into stones? You must find a way if you are to be prince. I will return shortly. Good luck. When the king left, Emo sang the weaver bird song. The bird came and helped him. Maybe the weaver bird can help. Weaver bird, gliding through the air, won't you come to me? Hello, Emo. How can I help you? I must change these seeds to stones, and I don't know how. Can you help me, Weaver Bird? I have an idea. Bye, Emo. Thank you for your help, Weaver Bird. I didn't think it could be done. <laughs> He's such a clever boy. You've done it. Very good, Emo. Let us go on to the second test. They went to a park. The king told Emo he had to cut down a tree with his hand. Emo, to pass the second test, you must cut down this tree with a single blow from your hand. Cut down a tree with my hand? But how can this be done? It is what you must do if you wish to be prince. I will be back in a little while. Good luck. When the king left, Emo sang to the ants. And they helped him. I will sing a song of the ants. Maybe they can help. Brave white ants marching in the sand, won't you come to me? Greetings, Emo. How can we help you? I must cut down this tall tree with a single blow from my hand. Can you help me? I have an idea. Come on, troops. Thank you for your help, brave ants. Farewell, Emo. Now I'll be able to knock down the tree. Emo has many friends. I hope he can pass all of Father's tests. Well, Emo, are you ready? Yes, Your Majesty. Nicely done, my boy. Only one test remains. Let us go. At the town square, the king told Emo to pick the princess from a crowd of girls. To pass the final test, you must choose my daughter, the Princess Amara, from this crowd of girls. But there are so many, and they're all dressed alike. How can I find your daughter? This you must do if you are to be prince. I will return in a moment. Good luck. When the king left, Emo sang to the genie, who came and helped him. I will sing the genie song. Perhaps he can help. Mighty genie, deep inside your cave, won't you come to me? Hello, Emo. How can I help you? I must pick the king's daughter from among all those girls. Can you help me? Of course, my friend. When the king returns, the princess will glow with a golden light that only you can see. Goodbye, Emo. Goodbye, Genie. Thank you for your help. I wonder which girl is the princess. 
Oh, not me. Well, Emo, have you made your decision? Yes, Your Majesty. That girl is your daughter. The Princess Amara. You've passed all of my tests, Emo. You shall be Prince. I'm very glad to meet you, Emo. Princess, I... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Come on, Emo. I'll show you around the palace. And so, Emo passed the king's tests and became prince. The king held a great feast to welcome the new prince. I wish to welcome Emo, our new prince, and my new friend. He may be a little clumsy, but he's a very nice boy. Yay! Yay! It is with great joy that I also welcome our new prince. Tell me, Emo, how did you pass my tests when everyone else failed? I had some help from my new friends. I just hope that I can rule as wisely as you, King Azizi. He chose my daughter from among all the other girls. Well done, Emo. That boy cut down a forest with his bare hand. That boy changed a mountain of seeds into stones. When the time came, Emo and Amara ruled the land wisely and had a long and happy life together. And so ends the tale of Emo and the King. Did you like it, children? Yes, Grandpa! I wish I had a pet fox like Kumi. My goldfish hardly ever dances. Goldfish are boring. Come on! Let's go fly the kite. Good idea. Let's go, Grandpa. After we fly the kite, I'll tell you another story. It's a magical tale about children. <laughs> oh, my. Wait for me. If you'd like me to read the story to you, click the story button. If Are you quite sure you want to quit? Well, I do hope you'll visit again very soon. Goodbye. Look up, up, up.